Imagine having polio, a disease that causes some parts of your body to be paralyzed, then getting cured and becoming famous for doing the things you love. There was a person who did exactly that, and her name was Wilma Rudolph. Wilma Rudolph was born on June 23, 1940, in St. Bethlehem, Tennessee. As a child, she was diagnosed with double pneumonia, scarlet fever, and polio, otherwise known as poliomyelitis, which caused her to wear a brace on her left leg. She then beat in her disabilities with the help of physical therapy. Growing up in the South, which was still segregated at the time, she attended the All Black Burt High School and played basketball there. Because of her amazing running skills, she began to train with Tennessee State University's track team coach, Ed Temple. Wilma qualified for the 1956 Summer Olympics held in Melbourne, Australia. She was the youngest member of the U.S. track and field team at age 16. Wilma won a bronze medal in the 400 meter relay. After that, she trained really hard for the next Olympics. The 1960 Olympic Games held in Rome, Italy were a big deal for Wilma. She tied with the world record with a time of 11.3 seconds in the 100 meter semifinals. After, she won the event with a time of 11 seconds in the finals. Likewise, she broke the Olympic record in the 200 meter dash before claiming another gold medal with her time of 24 seconds. She was also a part of the U.S. team that made the world record in the 400 meter relay. As a result, Wilma became the first American woman to receive three gold medals in U.S. track and field at a single Olympic Games. She instantly became one of the most popular athletes of the Rome Games and also became an international superstar. Wilma also made multiple appearances on television and received multiple awards, including the Associated Press Female Athlete of the Year Award in 1960 and 1961. She retired soon after. She began to teach and ran a community center. Wilma shared her adventurous story in her autobiography, Wilma, which was then produced into a TV film the same year. In the 1980s, she was put into the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame and created the Wilma Rudolph Foundation to promote non-professional athletes. She later died, sadly, on November 12, 1994 in Brentwood, Tennessee, due to brain cancer. To sum it up, Rudolph is remembered as one of the fastest women in track and as a source of great inspiration for generations of athletes. In 2004, the United States Postal Service honored her by featuring her likeness on a 23 cent stamp. Wilma Rudolph was a very brave and strong woman who would not stop until she reached the top. She will be remembered by all. Thank you.